Hi, my name is Mark Lucas. I'm a member of the Hingham Unity Council, and I am here to talk about the Juneteenth celebration. The idea came from the Hingham Unity Council. A member of the council thought it was important to mark this day and celebrate this day. So we got a small event committee together, about three or four people. We thought about different ideas about how to best celebrate this day and mark this occasion being the first time that this is a uh, federal holiday, state holiday, and a recognized local holiday in Ingham. One of the things that very few people uh, in the South Shore know about is that there is a pretty good sized legacy community in Ingham of African American families. So we wanted to make sure that if we were going to do a day celebrating Juneteenth and take note of the holiday in, in, in its significance, we wanted to make sure that we tied in those families. So in the background on either side of the gazebo are rows of signs which represent some of the long-standing African-American families in Hingham. The idea after the celebration is to actually put those signs up on poles. Hingham has a very nice tradition of making sure they recognize excellence. So oftentimes if you ride downtown Hingham, you'll see signs representing the different sports teams on the pole. So we thought it would be nice to be able to put some of the signs denoting the names of these families along Ward Street, which is a neighborhood where many of the families lived. Uh, I want to thank everybody from the Hingham Unity Council, obviously the members of the Board of Selectmen for recognizing Juneteenth, and all the volunteers. It's probably too much to name right now, um, but they all played an integral part in making sure this is a celebration that everyone could enjoy. We hope that everyone who comes down today enjoys the day. They remember the importance of Juneteenth, and we hopefully this becomes a, a new tradition in Hingham.